We are just now in the days following the Oklahoma City Thunder's five-game NBA title win over the Miami Heat here as we just began the 2016 offseason. It was truly a special run for Russell Westbrook as he led the finals MVP charge. But now let's look at the standings for the 2015 season. Cleveland Cavaliers won the East Coast Cup, the Eastern Conference, followed up by the Miami Heat, who would end up going to the NBA Finals. And the worst team in the league was the Philadelphia 76ers with just 16 games. In the west side, the Lakers came in as the worst team, finishing 26-56. and 56, And the best team was the Golden State Warriors, although they would lose in a six-game series to the Oklahoma City Thunder in the Western Finals. But the retirement section, well, Tim Duncan, Vince Carter, Steve Nash, and Dirk Nowitzki all called it quits making this certainly going to be a great, great Hall of Fame class. Other big names, Tayshawn Prince and Luis Scola. And Greg Popovich, the legendary coach for the Spurs, and George Carl were the two coaches that, that retired. The Hall of Fame class includes Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, and Vince Carter. Five men who certainly, certainly deserve to be in that Hall of Fame class. They all had amazing careers, but now it's time to get into the offseason. And the Philadelphia 76ers, they made move after move after move to acquire top spots as they hold the number one and the number two projected picks in the NBA draft. We'll see the draft lottery coming up shortly. But as you can see at the mock draft, Ben Simmons expected to go number one as... Ho the 76ers are certainly looking to get their hands on the prize prospect out of LSU. Like we said, the 76ers made a lot of moves. Here are some of them. As you can pause the TV to look at some of these trades that they made to get first round draft picks. They dealt away a lot of their talent. They dealt away the biggest day being Joel Embiid in exchange for a magic first round pick. They ended the season with this lineup. Not really a surprise that they won just 16 games. Jaleel Okafor, the rookie center, was probably one of the big reasons that they won those 16 games. But let's go into the draft lottery now, as this one should be interesting. Obviously, the 76ers expected to land the top two picks. But let's go. The 14th pick will belong to the Milwaukee Bucks. Not a surprise there, as they were the best team not to get into the playoffs. As the 13th pick belongs to the Phoenix Suns. As you can see down there, they're the sixth, sixth straight year of being in, in the draft lottery. As the 12th pick will fall into the hands of the Pelicans. And the 11th pick will go to the Philadelphia 76ers via the way of Washington. So they dealt away that pick. The 10th pick belongs to the Indiana Pacers. So no surprises yet through the first four picks, or five picks, excuse me. As the ninth pick goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. The 8th pick will go to Portland Trailblazers, who dealt it to the Philadelphia 76ers. And the seventh pick will belong to the Utah Jazz. So no surprises through the first eight picks of the NBA draft. Now, no, this will be the first jump as the 76ers leapfrog into the top three. And the Raptors are, will take the sixth pick. And now the Nuggets will take the fifth via the way of New York. Fourth pick projected to go to the 76ers will go to the 76ers, not the same pick that they had. So the top three are the Celtics, 76ers, and another 76ers pick. The third pick belongs to the Boston Celtics. So, of course, that'll mean that the Philadelphia Sixers have landed the top two picks in the NBA draft. Excuse my voice, I'm just getting over a bit of a cold. As you can see, for you, they are getting those top two picks, so certainly the management has to be happy about that. Will we see a new era in Philadelphia coming up? 
I'm sure these fans and this management are ready to. After years of shameless tanking. Alright, and Philadelphia also making some of the big news, firing Brett Brown, their head coach, along with cleaning house for most of the rest of the coaches. And but, but not many, not many signed as they got a bunch of no's before finally signing Elijah Nelson, a coach who's been an assistant coach for several years now, gets his first shot to be a head coach of what's going to be a very young team after this offseason. Also hire Dirk Nowitzki as the new assistant coach, fresh off of his retirement and Hall of Fame induction. Should be very interesting to see how he does as a head coach. I'm sure he'll do well after such a great, great play career. Now the NBA Draft Combine. So you can see some stats from this as the best NBA three-point shooter, Duarte Murray. And it's going to be it for the stats. But let's go into the NBA Draft. We're getting right on into it. The Philadelphia 76ers are on the clock. With the first pick, they select Ben Simmons out of LSU. Not a surprise. He's truly, truly one of the best talents in the league. And hopefully he can have a long and illustrious NBA career after one season at Louisiana State. But the second pick will be traded in exchange for the seventh pick of the Utah Jazz at Gordon Hayward. So with that second pick, the Utah Jazz will select their point guard of the future, Duarte Murray, as we mentioned before, one of the top three-point shooters. Hopefully, at 6'5", can do all things for, the point, for their point guard position. They're looking for him to become a Russell Westbrook with a better shot, as I've heard some executives say to be before the draft. But now the third pick belongs to the Boston Celtics, and they'll take Dragon Bender, the power forward out of Croatia, hoping to follow in the footsteps of Kristaps Porzingis, the big man last year who had a great, great first season uh, after people started crying when he was introduced. So you don't need to win every award in college to be a star of the NBA. So we've certainly learned. But now with the fourth pick of the NBA draft, the 76ers making their second pick. We'll take Buddy Heald out of Oklahoma, the reigning national player of the year, before getting destroyed in the college Final Four. The fifth pick will be Thod Maker for the Denver Nuggets out of Sudan. This kid made headlines when he decided not to sign with the college. It's just go straight into the NBA draft. The sixth pick will be Brandon Ingram, a one-and-done from Duke. Obviously, a lot of great players have gone there. Seventh pick, the Philadelphia 76ers. Third pick of the draft, take Chris Donna, the freakishly athletic point guard out of Providence. And Henry Ellenson will be next for the 76ers out of Marquette University. Great big man who can stretch the floor with a good shot. Now with the ninth pick, Deonta Davis out of Michigan State, another big man being taken. And the trade to announce here, as Avery Bradley will be traded for the ninth pick. To, and the ninth pick to grab the tenth pick in the NBA draft, as they're going to take Jalen Brown out of Cal. Jamal Murray will be the eleventh pick for the... Philadelphia 76ers, and that's going to be it for the NBA Draft. Or, sorry, Marquise Chris will be it for our coverage of the NBA Draft, because that's going to be pretty much the entire lottery and the rest of the picks, you know, just weren't that important. Most of them won't become big-time stars. But the last 76ers pick, if you were interested to know, was Malik Beasley out of Florida State University, another shooting guard there, the second one of the draft after taking... Buddy healed. But now into free agency, two big players, DeMar DeRozan, it's the one that the 76ers are going after. They're going to offer him a two-year plus a player option for a third year, about $25 million a year, hoping that the star shooting guard will accept the offer. And will he ever, taking the two-year, $51 million contract. But LeBron James, probably the biggest signing, he went to Boston 
to take his talents there as it's the decision part three. 76 who also had a backup big man in the 7-4 Boban Marjanovic out of Serbia. Now looking at player progressions, a couple big names. Now into the Summer League. The Houston Rockets won the 2K Summer League. And now going into the Samsung Summer League, obviously the big event here. Uh, we'll see who comes out on top as the 76ers, the three seed, are into the semifinals. At in the quarterfinals, now into the semifinals. As you can see on the left, the two worst teams have made it to the semis. Which means one of them will be competing for the title. If the 76ers fall to the Suns, and the worst team, the Indiana Pacers, will win it all. Kind of shocking turn of events there. But now looking at some scouting for next year, as it's going to be Harry Giles is the top player out of Kansas State. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. But that's all for now. I'm out.